Imagine spending over $1,000 on an office chair and having it break on you within a few years. You probably wouldn't be pleased, and if that chair came from a company as reputable as Herman Miller, you'd be surprised. But that's what happened to an embodied chair that Herman Miller sent to us for review years ago when it first came out. We used the chair under normal conditions and it broke within a matter of years. We subsequently saw the exact same physical defect in another embodied chair, so we know it's not an isolated incident. The question is, can the average person fix this using household tools rather than shipping it all the way back to Herman Miller for repairs? We're going to show you. The problem is with the armrest. Now take a look at how the armrest is supposed to adjust from side to side. As you can see, it's got three positions it sort of snaps into. But look at the armrest on the other side. There's no registration at all. This isn't a stripped or worn gear because this defect occurred spontaneously. One minute it was working properly, and the next it wasn't. There was no braking sound. That means something inside has spontaneously become disconnected, which is why we figure this chair is fixable. Step one is to locate the disassembly point. You can see there's two torque screws mounted here. They're partially obscured by one of the chair's adjustment levers, so we'll get around that with a mini ratchet. With the screws removed, the arm simply comes off. There's still another panel that we need to get through, though, to access the works. Once that panel's removed, we can now see there's a little finger that's supposed to travel between these ridges, and that's what provides the registration when you adjust the arm. But the metal arm holding this little finger has somehow popped out of alignment. If we remove this spring to take the tension off of the arm, we can then wiggle the finger back into place. Lastly, the mounting bolt has popped out of position along with the arm, so we'll pop that back into place with a pair of vice grips. And don't forget to put the spring back on. Then it's just a matter of reattaching the panel and the arm. Now whenever you're remounting something that requires two screws, it's always a good idea to thread the first screw in just enough to get registration, then thread the second screw while you've still got some wiggle room. Once you've got them both registered, you can tighten both of them down. And that's it. Now let's see if it works. Good to go. Now hopefully this video will find its way into a Herman Miller designer's inbox and they can possibly address this issue in future designs. Thanks for watching. I'm Rain Noah for Core 77 TV. Imagine spending over $1,000 on an office chair and having it break on you within a few years. You probably wouldn't be pleased, and if that chair came from a company as reputable as Herman Miller, you'd be surprised. But that's what happened to an embodied chair that Herman Miller sent to us for review years ago when it first came out.